A classic by the time I get to Phoenix. Jimmy Webb's a great composition done by Glenn Campbell back in the 60s and many others since then. i um, going to jazz it up a bit, some minor sevenths, some flat fives, uh, some major seventh, and uh, give you this kind of feel. I'm going to play it through for you one time and give you an idea. By the time I get to Phoenix, she'll be rising. She'll find the note I left hanging on her door. She'll laugh when she reads the part that says I'm a leaving. Cause I left that girl so many times before. So my goal in these videos is to open up some ideas on uh, chord embellishments, especially in a small uh, group situation. Maybe you're backing up a vocalist. Uh, maybe you're backing up yourself. And as opposed to just the simple, by the time Da, 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 da. Nothing wrong with that. On the other hand, you might add a little by, uh, by, by doing what we just did in the uh, previous section. So there you go. Let's break these chords down, uh, starting with the intro. Intro is basically a, a, a two, four bar vamp, whatever and you've got your C major seventh hammering on. And then you go to that, what I call uh, a, a G, that big fat G on the bottom over in F major seventh, your F major seventh being and your big G here. There you get into it. And on that, position you can do so many things with that uh, you can even you can actually call it an F chord with a, a G on the bottom all kinds of places you can go in that position so your vamp Then we go into that diminished, that B flat diminished by the time, and then right into that D minor, okay? D minor seventh, actually. Uh, your B flat diminished, got your fingering there, right into that D minor, all right? You could do it here, but I like it much better up here. Back to that. Uh, F with the G on the bottom. Back to your C sixth, and you can hammer that on with your little finger, okay? And the best way to do that, of course, is I think bar across here on that second fret with your index, and then uh, here you go with your middle and your ring finger, and then hammer on with that pinky. You can hammer on and pull off. So you're back to your C major seventh, back to your D minor seventh, back to your uh, F over your G. Now here we go, we're gonna walk down to that F. We're gonna go from our R1 down to our four. So you're in your C major sixth position, and you're gonna walk it down thusly. Your G minor seventh, your F sharp major flat five, right down to that F. All right, and we're gonna make that walk down. And then you nail it on the, 
quickly back up to your D minor seventh. It's a quick half bar back down to your F over your G, which is a half bar, and then up to your E minor seventh. So it's like this. Then we land on that E minor seventh. Now we're going down to an A minor seventh. You can play the entire chord if you like. I like this, you get your, your A string open and slide up uh, third and fourth strings. Now we go into that D minor seventh, this position. Here's a D minor uh, seventh, this position. Here's a little variation on it. Sorry, I don't know exactly what that's called. But this way you can walk it down to that B flat, then back to your G. Start with your using your middle finger. That's your chord chart. That's taking you through the entire song. Now, of course, you can do variations on that. Uh, one of my favorites being when I'm in that E minor and I'm going to that A, I like to do this, usually doing the last verse, your E minor. And what that is, is a G over an A, and then you hammer on these two strings uh, at your fifth fret. Put you right back into that D minor. You can also do a sort of a, a, a little Hendrix thing here. I hope that gives you some ideas. And one last thing, on the last verse when I'm going through that, when you get back to that C major six the second time, uh, instead of hitting that position, you come up to this position on your uh, eighth fret. You got your C in the bass, and you've got this change. then you end up in your F major seventh. Now let's, let's do an ending here that adds a few uh, uh, quirks. Your ending. So that's it for this, our first episode of Pimp My Chord Chart. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Until next time. Mm -hmm.